there is nothing more important than how you are vibrating. Your personal vibration is your greatest resource and more vital than money, time, or even physical energy. Everything is second to your vibrations. From a low vibration of fear, worry or overwhelm, life is difficult and relationships are challenging. From a high vibration of love, life takes on an effortless flow, relationships are harmonic. And abundance streams with ease. For example, if people get stuck in traffic jam, how they react. Complaining, blaming, will just result in contracting your vibrations. By doing this situation will not change. It is like purposefully keeping your thoughts stuck in traffic jam. We disturb not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. Traffic may take hours from your usual productivity, but it doesn't need to rob you of rest and joy. You probably cannot do anything about those clogged highways, but you can definitely do something about your reaction to them. You can stay calm and utilize your time. Or go volunteering. Let's see in detail, which things makes your vibration expand or contracts by Marcy Shimoff. Attitude. Reacting like victim. Responding like a victor. Complaining about problems. Focusing on solutions. Blaming others or circumstances. Looking for the lesson and gift. Feeling guilt or shame. Making peace with yourself. Expansion habits for the attitude. Focus on solution. Look for the lesson and gift. Make peace with yourself. Think of the unhappy people you know. They probably spend a lot of time blaming, complaining, feeling shame, which robs them of the experience of their innate energy. Shifting out of the victim game is sure way to expand your energy and be happier. Body. Feeling stressed. Experiencing well-being. Eating processed foods. Eating fresh, whole food. Having chemical and hormonal imbalance. Having balanced system. Breathing shallowly from the chest. Breathing deeply from the abdomen. Being dehydrated. Drinking plenty of water. Being a coach potato. Having an active lifestyle. Frowning. Smiling. Ignoring the body's signals. Listening to what the body needs and wants. Expansion habits for the body. Nourish your body. Energies your body. Tune into your body's wisdom. Our physical habits either cause our energy to contract, making us feel tired and sick, or bring about a state of expansion, supporting our vibrations and well-being. Soul. Constantly doing. Making time for stillness and meditation. Looking outside for answers. Listening to inner knowing. Feeling angry and helpless. Praying and surrendering. Feeling isolated and alone. Feeling connected to a larger whole. Trying to control everything. Trusting in higher power. Habits for the soul. Invite connection to your higher power. Listen to your inner voice. Trust life's unfolding. By making it priority to experience your connection to spirit, this requires routine timeouts from your busy life and a willingness to be quiet. In that silence, you can both listen and speak to your higher power which cultivates a greater sense of acceptance, surrender, and trust. When we make conscious connection to the soul, we are infusing the essence of being expanded energy. Heart. Fear. Love. Anger, sadness, tension. Openness. Disappointment, emptiness. Gratitude. Resentment. Forgiveness. Self-centeredness. Loving-kindness. Heart Rhythm Incoherence Heart Rhythm Coherence Expansion Habits for the Soul Focus on Gratitude Practice Forgiveness Spread Loving Kindness The Heart Math researchers discovered that when people focus on emotions such as appreciation, love, gratitude they are able to create more coherence in their heart rhythm at will. That means you can jumpstart the expansion of your heart anytime you want. Inspired by purpose. Going through the motions uninspired. Acting from inspiration. Being lost and bored. Being in the flow and engaged. Feeling undirected and resigned. 
feeling purposeful and passionate, acting solely in self-interest, being of service to others. Habits Find your passion. Follow the inspiration of the moment. Contribute to something greater than yourself. Being connected to purpose expands you and help you feel inspired in each moment, which naturally leads to more success. As Albert Schweitzer said, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. Relationships Feeling lonely and isolated Connecting with others Letting toxic people affect you Creating appropriate boundaries Gossiping and complaining Communicating authentically Shutting others out Appreciating others' contribution Feeling superior or inferior to others Feeling the inherent equality of others Focusing on differences Focusing on similarity and unity Expecting others to make you happy Giving on the basis of overflowing happiness Expansion habits for the purpose Tend to your relationships Surround yourself with support See the world as your family Until you are firmly established in the state of high vibrations, your vibrations are affected by the energy of people around you When you surround yourself with relationships that support you, your energy expands when you have a lot of toxic people in your life, your energy contracts. Mind Your mind is like a quantum computer but if you are not consciously running the computer, it is programmed and run by external forces, be that family, society, government, authority figures, or media. Thinking negative thoughts Thinking positive thoughts Judging Accepting Worrying Trusting Overthinking Clear thinking Expansion habits for the mind Question your thought Go beyond mind and let go Incline your mind towards joy According to scientists, we have about 60,000 thoughts a day No wonder we're so tired at the end of the day Out of these thoughts 95% are the same thoughts you had yesterday and day before yesterday our mind is like iPod playing the same record over and over again. Talk about stuck in a rut. Out of these 45,000 are negative thoughts. Dr. Daniel Amen found that negative thoughts stimulates the areas of the brain involved in depression and anxiety. Where positive thoughts are like medicine. Truth about your thoughts. The good news is that to keep the thousands of negative thoughts we have from dragging us down, we don't have to try to get rid of each one of them. There's a simple way. The secret is an accepting and astonishing fact. Your thoughts aren't always true. You believe everything you hear, do you? Of course not. You don't believe everything you read either. And in this age of special effects and Photoshop, you certainly can't believe everything you see. So, don't believe everything you think. This video based on the book Happy for No Reason by Marcy Shimoff. I suggest this book for in detail concepts. If you like the video please hit the like button. I heavily depend on your suggestions for further videos, so please do post it in comments. And please subscribe the channel Nirvana for further videos. Thank you.